So the next event is the 400 kilo deadlift. This will not be easy. Nemo Tasic is first, competing here in his home country. The Serbian only managed one point in the last round after taking the truck just 11 metres. He'll be looking for better here. He is the strongest man of Serbia. Some two reps so far. Made that three, but I'm not sure he's going to do any more. He's not. He's going to call time here, and he bows out with three reps. Nemo, you managed two in front of your home audience, and they love you, don't they? Three. I three! Did... You did three! Yeah, for Serbia. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So three repetitions in the end for Nemanja Tasic to give him his full name. And he's in first place for now. Now Damir Strojo, who's from Bosnia, not too far away from here. <laughs> 29 years old, this competitor. <laughs> he's on to three reps now, matching that of Tasic before him. You can see how much of an effort it is every single time. It's interesting to see how the regulars and the big boys get on in a few minutes from now. Before the best total we've seen so far. Can he do five? He's getting there slowly. Further and further up his body, and there it is. That's five. But I think that is it for the Bosnian. And you can see how much he's taken out of him there. Five repetitions for Damir Strojo. Now we move on to Nedzmin Ambeskovic, the Swede. But as you can probably tell by his name, he has dual nationality with Bosnia and Herzegovina. But he does compete in the Sweden Strongest Man events. And it's ninth recently in 2016. So six so far, he's into the lead. Be careful, he doesn't drop it down on his right foot there. That could be a painful one. Seven reps. Can he go towards double figures here? He'll be very close as the clock ticks on. That's eight. Let's drop the gum shield out of his mouth there as he continues. Nine. One more for the magic ten. Can he do it? He's got 50 seconds gone. Up to a minute now. As he checks the time with the referee. Here he goes. Up it goes. There's 10. And that's where he'll finish. That should get him right at the top of the rankings. We'll see how long for, but he's certainly in first place for now. Nedman, you got 10. You're a monster. I'm on your lips. 10. Thank you. Yes. One very, very happy man, Nedzmin Ameskovic. Ten repetitions. Now Denis Korus. <laughs> On to two. A good start here by the German. He's so determined to win that SCL crown one day. Slight pause at four here. So much of the body used for this event. Muscle groups being utilised all over. For the strength and power to lift this car up. There's determination in his eyes now as he goes for six. Trying to nudge it up his thighs there. That is six, and that is where Dennis Colrus will bow out. So confirmation of six repetitions for Colrus. Now Travis Ortmeier. During the first event, it came fourth in the end. 
Just one place behind Matthias Belsack, who will undoubtedly be the favourite again for today's event. But look at this from Ortmeier. Clearly one of his stronger events. He's been training well. How far can he go? That's number eight. Nine. Can he get a ten as well? Yes, he can. One more needed to go out ahead of Nedzin and Beskovic. Trying to go for it now. There it is. He's into the lead now, and Ortmeier absolutely delighted. Travis, you're in first place with 11. Oh, that feels awesome. <laughs> That's a heavy deadlift. Uh, you've been out of the game for a while, haven't you? Yeah, you know, I guess I didn't know what to expect coming into this. But so far, so good. I guess uh, first place at the moment, I can't argue with that. I can't complain. <laughs> exactly. More from you later, no? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So Travis Ortmeier there with 11 repetitions. He's in first place. But if there's one man who'll knock him off that spot, it'll be him, Matthias Belsack. A man who's so strong across so many events. That is why he's so successful. Look at how he's flying through this. Six there. He could absolutely smash all of them out of the park if he wanted to. Nine. Two more to go level top. That's 11. One more to become the new leader. And there it is. Matthias Belsack out in front now with 12. And that's where he'll retire. Matthias, why am I not surprised? 12, first place. I mean, if I have the leader t-shirt, I need to do my best and show that. So I keep here for the first place. OK, so you're confident you're going to win this? I think so, yeah. Confidence always reigning supreme with Matthias Belsack. 12 repetitions for the Slovenian. He's now in first place. There's only one man who can stop him, and it's Will Baggett. The Englishman has started well. How much energy he has at the moment after the truck pull, which seemed to take so much out of him. We will see in a few moments' time. He's on four for now. They're feeling Bagger won't be able to go too much further than here. Trying to go up for six. I don't think he's going to get anywhere near the 10 or even 11 required to go near Ortmeier and Belsack. Belsack, the leader, on 12. Baggett on 7. I'm just checking how many he's done, how long's left on the clock here. But no, he'll finish on 7. Thought he was going to go up for eight there, but in the end, conserving his energy. William, that was wild. You got seven. Yeah, not as many as I wanted, but um, it's a tough pull, this. Heavier than it looks. He's um, a lot of weight in the boot. So, yeah, I'm happy with that. Some good points. You want to win every event, obviously, don't you? <laughs> but that's quite tough around here. Um, yeah. Well, you tried hard. Yeah, he still might be coming home, so don't worry. <laughs> still confident, Will Baggett, but seven repetitions there will put him out of the top three. So here are the results overall. Bell sacked the winner with 12 reps, and he could have done so many more as well. Travis Ortmeier in second, and Beskovic and Smokeselis split the points in third and fourth place. So overall, Bell sacked leading by two points ahead of the returning Travis Ortmeier. Will Baggett three points further back in third place.